Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Matt here. I hope you're doing well. Today I'm making this video to discuss my belt setup that I've been using for precision rifle matches. I've probably used this for the past five or six months and I've gotten questions both in person as well as online. So I figured again, I make this video to just show it to anyone who's interested. Now I did make everything here myself. So the belt as well as all the pouches on it, I personally made. So if you want something like this, you're gonna have to purchase the items yourself, but it's easily done. You can purchase a Molly belt like this as well as all the pouches that you need. But uh, taking a step back, the reason why I originally made this last fall was because with the colder winter months coming, I started to realize that I was having trouble uh, organizing all my gear and equipment during a match. And that really plays with your mental game. If you're always searching for certain things, it can be quite frustrating. So I just want to make sure that everything I ever needed on a match that was on my person was just easily accessible around on my belt setup. So that's basically what I aimed to do and it works really well. I've probably used this for four or five matches and it's really nice just knowing where everything is all the time. If you live in a colder climate, you'll know with all the uh, you know jackets and vests and, and stuff you have to wear, you have a lot of pockets. And if you're like me, you just throw things in random pockets when you feel like it. So trying to find something like a pen, for instance, you're gonna kind of search through your jacket pockets, your chest pockets, your pants pockets, it can just get kind of annoying. So I made this belt setup to kind of alleviate the pocket situation and it's, it's a bit overkill for rimfire matches that you can get by totally fine without a belt setup but again I just did it for uh, my own my own preference but starting with the belt itself uh, as I mentioned before it's just a molly belt again I made this uh, here by myself so I just stitched uh, the molly panels I have basically two large sections of molly panels that go around my my sides and then the actual belt itself has a little bit of foam stitched into it just to give it a little bit of rigid rigidity and comfort so it's not you know too floppy or anything and then the actual buckle runs a strap through the entire length of the belt and that is adjustable for length so it doesn't matter what i'm wearing if it's a big heavy parka or some you know lighter jacket i can adjust the length of the actual buckle so it still fits nice and snug around my waist it's not just set to one size so that is the belt itself it works really nicely again i decided to make it a molly setup so i can easily switch around the pouches and their placement i don't have to dedicate uh, to any one spot and in terms of the pouches we'll just go over I guess uh, around the belt here. Starting on the right side, you'll notice, or on both sides, I guess, you'll notice these two D rings. Um, I use these to hang anything off my belt that I want. You'll see in a lot of match footage, I usually have my pump pillow here hung on my right side. I just use a little clip and it easily attaches to this D ring so I can have my pump pillow off to the side. I have my pump pillow quite often on me even though I don't use it and that's just because it's, it's so light and out of the way that if I want to use it it's nice that it's there but it's never really in the way so again I just take it along just in case usually but I do like the pump pillow I made this one myself again but you can easily buy something similar um, so those are what the two D rings are for the one on the left I sometimes hang my heavy gloves on in the winter and going past that I have just a little panel here that I made to hold uh, two pens or sharpies you're you know you're always writing things down at matches whether it be on your dope cards or taking notes making notes on the course of fire and such so it's nice having the pens on my side ready to go and the next pouch here holds my wind meter now this is a very cheapo wind meter i picked off uh, on amazon and this actually died on me at the palmerston match so i've replaced it with a kestrel here this is the cheapest Kestrel you can buy, I'm sure. This is the Model 1000. It literally only does wind and nothing else, but that's all I need. Um, I'm gonna have to probably remake this pouch because it's not quite deep enough to fit the Kestrel how I would want it. It kind of works, but uh, I'll probably remake this pouch. But that's where my wind meter goes. Again, it's nice to just check the wind conditions if you're unsure of your wind call. And I use that pretty often during the day, so that stays on my right side. Next pouch here is my rangefinder this one is an older model I don't, I don't think vortex makes this this is the impact 800 i believe they replaced it with the impact 1000 um, i'm really not happy with this rangefinder so it's also something i replaced recently i now have a sig kilo 2000 shadow i believe the shadow version is exclusive to cabela's anyway this thing is awesome um, you know blows the impact 800 totally out of the water but uh, i mentioned that because this one barely fits in my 
pouch here. Uh, it doesn't quite close. So again, another pouch I have to redo, but uh, that is my range finder. Again, nice to just verify target distances and such before you shoot a stage. So again, that goes on my right side, right behind my wind meter. And the next pouch here, which is the last one, actually just holds a little bottle of Purell. If you have to use the outhouse, you know, a lot of matches have an outhouse, you just sanitize your hands, which is kind of nice to have. But not only that, since I shoot SK ammo now, you'll know if you shoot SK that they're really oily and lubed up. So you just have to load two or three mags and your fingers are just covered in this oil. So it's actually nice to have Purell to just kind of break it up, get it off your hand. So it does, it does serve a purpose uh, in terms of shooting as well. You'll notice on the back side here, it's, it's left fairly open and that's on purpose. This way I can still sit in a chair or in the car if I need to without having anything jab into my spine. So that's left nice and open at the back there on purpose. I didn't even put molly panel there because I knew I wanted to leave it bare. And it's also the same story on the front. You'll see the majority of the front here, which again covers you know, everything up to my sides, is completely uh, not covered with any pouches or anything like that. So when I want to get into a nice low crouched shooting position, nothing is jabbing me in the stomach. So again, that, that is a reason why I don't have more pouches on the front and stuff like that. Going on to the left side, uh, I just have a simple mag pouch that I made to hold two of my 457 magazines. I was thinking of putting some sort of retention over the top, but I actually quite like them here. I tested these again for uh, quite a while now and they've never fallen out or anything. I made them just snug enough where it's really easy to just grab one if I need to do a quick magazine change, but they're not loose enough where they, they fall out of the pouches if I go prone very quickly or anything like that. And the last part here is a little dump pouch. This can be rolled up and kind of put into a compact position if I'm not using it, but during a match, I usually have it uh, deployed as such. And it's just a simple mag, or pardon me, dump pouch that works really nicely. I use this both for, again, empty magazines if I have to dump them in there after a mag change, but I also use it just as an extra pocket. I'll, you know, roll up my course of fire and put it in here. I'll have snacks in here a lot of the times. I'll put my, my glove liners and stuff. So it's nice just having an extra pocket. And I also did so in a uh, kind of a closing lip here. So if I want to open it up a little bit more, I can do that. Or if I want to retain stuff inside. I can kind of close it up there, which is neat. And on the bottom, uh, I also do have a drainage hole in case it's raining or snowing heavily. I don't have water accumulating in my dump pouch. So that is basically the entire belt setup. Again, um, made by myself, but you can easily purchase something like this online. It's been working really nicely. Again, you probably don't need something as elaborate as this setup for precision rimfire matches, but I really like to use it and it's worked out so well in the colder winter months. I'm probably gonna to continue to run it through the summer as well. Anyway, I hope this answers some questions for anyone who was wondering about the belt setup. Um, as usual, I'll do my best to answer any questions or comments. I hope you guys take care. I'll see you in the next video.